Only one minute early. And we're live. Hello. I'm Pastor Doug. It's just a new new layout. So, but anyways. Welcome back. I'm Pastor Doug. This is Rowan. I know we're one minute early, but we're often two minutes late, so. It's kind of random. We're never on time. 8.30-ish. Anyways, welcome to Adventure in Luke, chapter 18. As you can see, we have four candles. Rowan, you want to tell us what the four candles are? Hope, joy, love, peace. That's all of them. That's all of them. Almost no. name the other one. Yeah, and what's today's candle? Love. Very good. Very good. So, yes. I just Right on. So, uh, welcome. Tonight was a, a very good night. Anybody that came out to the dinner, thank you for coming. Um, it was it was excellent. We were over capacity. We ran out of food. It was we ran out of turkey. It was phenomenal. It's it's it, it was it was a beautiful night, and I'm glad to have been able to serve this community in that capacity today so um yeah okay now let's uh let's get into luke chapter 18 also zeb we missed you buddy i was hoping to see you i know you could have got a ride because i seen some of your friends there so um maybe next time okay Calling people out like that? Yeah, well, you know, I call him out because I know he's watching. So how do you know? Well, because he uh, leaves, he leaves a like every time. That's why. I don't know that. Because it tells me on Facebook who it is. So, okay, so uh, adventure in Luke, chapter eighteen. Shall we begin? Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, A certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, Even though I don't fear God or care what people think, yet because this woman keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. Then the Lord said, Listen to what the unjudge, just, the unjust judge says, And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones, who cry out to him day and night? And will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice, and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, Will he find faith on earth? To some who were confident in their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went to a temple to pray, one a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I give a tenth, of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up at heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that the man, this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. People were bringing babies to Jesus for him to place his hands on them when the disciples saw this they rebuked them but Jesus called the children to him and said let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these truly I tell you anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it a certain ruler asked him good teacher what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered. No one is good except God alone. 
You know the commandments. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. Honor your father and mother. All these I have kept since I was a boy, he said. When Jesus heard this, he said to him, You still lack one thing. Sell everything you have and give it to the poor. And you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. When he heard this, he became very sad because he was very wealthy. Jesus looked at him and said, How hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. Indeed, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Those who heard this asked, Who then can be saved? And Jesus replied, What is impossible with man is possible with God. And Peter said to him, We left all we had to follow you. Truly I tell you, Jesus said to him, No one who has left a wife or brother or sisters or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God will fail to receive many times as much in this age and in the age to come eternal life. Jesus took the twelve aside and told them, We're going to Jerusalem. And everything that is written in by the prophets about the Son of Man will be fulfilled. He will be delivered over to the Gentiles. They will mock him, insult him, spit on him. They will flog him and kill him, and on the third day he will rise again. The disciples did not understand any of this. Its meaning was hidden from them, and they did not know what he was talking about. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard the crowd going by, he asked what was happening. They told him Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who led the way rebuked him, told him to be quiet. But he shouted all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Lord, I want to see, he replied. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus, praising God. When all the people saw it, they also praised God. Any questions? No. All right. All right. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you give us. We thank you for your word. We pray that we learn it and we follow you. We pray that we humble ourselves before you and we honor you in all that we do. So we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Okay. So. I guess we'll see you tomorrow evening at 8.30 for another adventure in Luke. Got anything to add there, bro? No. All right. Peace out.